Hi, welcome back to Marissa Explains It All. And today I'm going to be showing you a demo and tutorial using the new L'Oreal La Palette Nude, and Nude 2. And I had done a haul on this uh, maybe a couple videos back and then I showed uh, the how the Nude 1 uh, performs and wears and everything. And so I, as promised, I'm going to show you guys how this palette performs and I'm wearing it now. So this is the look I came up with and the one I'm going to show you um, how to create with this palette. And I have to say it's good and I'm happy with the results and it wears, it wears well. The Nude 1 I've worn several times and I'm happy with the way it wears and it's, it's a, it's a good palette. So also on a side note, as I had discussed in my last, uh, the Nude One video, I had worn the Hard Candy Glamouflage uh, foundation for the first time, and I've worn it a couple times since, and I have to say it's a really good foundation. I like it. I like the powder finish that it gives you, and it's, uh, you can, it's medium to full coverage. You could build it up to full coverage, and it's, it's good stuff, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep using it because I, I actually really liked it. I, I was hesitant. I didn't really like it when I first tried it, but after wearing it and going out in it and stuff, like when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, hey, damn, that looks good. I wanted to show the other foundation that I got in my haul, which is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and this foundation immediately as I first time I put it on was today on my face and I loved it. Like immediately as soon as I put it on, I loved the finish. I like the matte ness of the foundation. I like the color. It matches me a little bit better than the Glamouflage one. The Glamouflage, Glamouflage? Glamouflage one, um, you know, is a little bit paler, so I have to, um, maybe like, you know, bronze up a bit more or do some mitigation for that. But this L'Oreal Infallible, I mean, as soon as I put it on my face, I was like, wow, this is this is nice, good foundation. And I'm really happy with the way it covers. And you can see I'm wearing it now. So um, I'm happy with both of them. Wait, side note, before I forget, I wanted to show you guys my top. It's a lipstick shirt. Isn't that great? I love it. It's amazing. Um, it's made of like kind of a mesh material, so I have to wear a tank top underneath it, you know, so it's not see-through. But I got it at Ross, and um, I guess I'll just show you guys here. It's just like a, you know, normal shirt. I just want to show you guys that. But if you want to see how the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2 performs and how it shows up on your eyes and get this look that I'm showing you here, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start, per the usual, start on my other eye that I haven't done yet to match the my left eye. And again, this is what the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2 looks like. So it's all cool tone, purpley type sh grays, type shades. And I'm going to start with the highlight color, and I'm going to go into this pink color here and I was a bit hesitant at first to use this as a highlight for my brow bone but it actually ended up working out pretty good. I usually like to use uh, white colors not pink based colors but it just it has um, not so much pink pigmentation as it does shimmer to just add that pop of shimmer to the brow bone that you might want in your highlight as opposed to the you know contrast of the color white which is typically what I would go for. So then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to take this kind of gray, purpley toned, um, pinky toned color shadow there. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush, take that color and use that as my transition in the crease to the brow bone. And admittedly, when I was doing my, my left eye, I made some mistakes, messed up, so hopefully this eye will come out a little bit cleaner and better. So just making sure that's nice transition color there. Ooh, got a hair. All right. Then I'm going to take this kind of shimmery purpley taupe color and I'm going to take a shader, a flat shader brush. I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And I went with a pretty simple easy look just to show how these shadows perform. And as you can see, they perform pretty well. I mean, they're just like the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1. They perform pretty, pretty, pretty similar. Good. I don't really have many complaints. So now I'm going to go into this darker burgundy shade. 
I'm going to put that in my crease and just outer V here and just build it up as dark as so it matches the other side pretty much. But again, I did have some a snafu while I was doing that, so hopefully it comes out a little bit cleaner on this side. I had to remove some and you know how we get into those situations where you have to just keep adding, removing, adding, removing, and it just gets kind of muddy after a while. So hopefully this side will come out a little bit cleaner. Then I'm just gonna blend that, blend it out with the fluffy brush again. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into that pink shimmery shade that I put on my brow bone. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner and I like to do put it up around like my eye socket just because I get a lot of darkness in here and I like to counter that with a highlight color. I know, you know, uh, a lot of people might just, depending on your eye shape, you might just put it right in here and not all the way up, but I like it that way for me personally. And then just blend that in. I think I need to still keep adding because I don't think they're quite even. So I think this one has looks more smoky. So I'm gonna again go back into that burgundy shade there and I'm gonna apply that, just keep building it and adding it and building it and adding it until it reaches the same level of intensity. Now, I feel like I went more intense than I had intended, but that's so, I do that so often. Like I go in and I think, oh, it's a nude palette. I'll just do, um, you know, a neutral type look. Yeah, and then about 10 minutes later, I'm with full on smoky eye glammed up to go, you know, to Costco for the week on the weekends or whatever, so. I'm just, again, blending in, and I did add a little bit more of the transition color there to my brush just to help blend that color out. And then blend in the front here, that shimmery shade that I added before. So, yeah, it does, I feel like it came out cleaner than this eye, because again, you know, I said I had made some mistakes. So now, I'm gonna add some color to the bottom there. And so, going into this dark, the same shade that I put in my crease there, the dark kind of burgundy color. I'm gonna just take that and run that along the bottom, bottom lash line there, just about, mm, almost all the way in. And clean my brush off, and then I'm gonna go into the same shade that I used on my lid, and I'm gonna use that to blend it out a little bit underneath. And then I will take my the brush that I used to put the color in my um, crease and I'm just going to blend it out there on the bottom of it. That's the shadow look using the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2. And that's what it looks like again and I have to say that the colors applied well, they blended well, I mean they look pretty nice from my first use of it and I don't have any complaints yet. I mean again, I've only used the palette the one time and you know I've used some, just a few of the colors but from what I can tell it's, it performs pretty good, pretty, pretty nice and blends out and um, you know the purples if you're intimidated by purples I you can see that these are kind of muted purple there they have a purple tinge but they're not bright you know bright ass purple so, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back just to finish up my cheeks and lips. so I went ahead and added my eyeliner and mascara to my right eye and that is the finished eye look with the palette that I'm demoing and um, again, this right eye came out way cleaner because I made mistakes on the other one, but um, you know, the eyeliner and everything just came out nicer and cleaner, but you know, that's, that's what happens, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, bronze up my face using my NYX blush in the color Terracotta and just a, a Bare Minerals little stubby um, dense brush here. And just go in and this is a light kind of bronze um, for me. It's a, uh, I suppose it could be a highlight for someone with darker skin. It's pretty shimmery and it's actually like a peachy toned color. But um, for me, I use it as a soft um, bronze shade and I'm not gonna do any contouring just because I feel like my eyes for the daytime are already you know more intense than I had intended. So I uh, don't want my face to be as glammed up. So I'm gonna just gonna, you know, do a light bronzing here just to add some color. And then I'm gonna go into my Hourglass uh, Ambient Blush in the color Mood Exposure. So it's this like purpley kind of mauve color and I thought that looked 
like it matched perfectly, you know, with that eye since I did purple kind of neutral tones. So I'm just gonna blush up my face there with that color. I want to do just a soft kind of highlight today because I'm, you know, again, I, I meant to do more of a natural eye and, um, you know, I got I get carried away and instead of just doing the lightest colors all only in the palette, I ended up going for the darker ones because, hey, that's how I roll. I'm like, you know, if there's some, some colors I can put on my face, I want them on my face. So, <laughs> I, um, I'm just looking for my, here we are, my Hourglass Powder. Um, the ambient lighting powder and this is in the color ethereal light and it looks like a straight white which I guess I suppose it pretty much is and I'm just gonna use this dense real techniques brush and um, but it just gives you like a nice natural highlight so it's not shimmery here on the cheekbones so there's that and again go back into the blush and blend that out a bit Blend it all in together. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Color Sensational uh, Matte Lipstick in Lust for Blush, and here it is. It's like a blush color, so it's kind of a nude, neutral pink. It's not a nude, it's a pink color, but it's a matte finish, and I chose to pair it with Max Lip Liner in Dervish. Right, smack this lipstick on. Okay, there we are. There's the final look using the new uh, L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2 palette. Um, and that's what it looks like. Pretty, it's nice, it's pretty. I think it would be great if you're looking for a nighttime palette. I feel like, um, you know, you probably could create a more natural look using maybe just these, you know, this shade here and that shade there, but the other ones are all, you know, darker shades. So, I mean, I think this palette is a smoky eye lover's dream. <laughs> um, and you can see all the, the pictures on the back there, the little guide. I mean, they're all pretty smoky looks there. So if you want, if you like dramatic, um, more dramatic, smokier looks, then this is the one you want to pick if you're going to pick any of the two. And again, I'll show you the nude one, which is the one I um, did a video on first. And see, this one has a lot lighter shades and more neutral, um, daytime friendly, like this whole section here, if you could put a whole look together with that. And then if you wanted a nighttime neutral, you can add in some of these darks and you know, these are just nice, like lighter highlighty type shades. So I think that these are well worth it. I am happy with the result. I'm happy with the way they look. And I also have to mention that I've noticed as I've worn them, you know, the nude one several times now, um, since filming the first, you know, haul video and, you know, obtaining the actual palette that, um, just take my hair square out here. Um, that they w the colors wear really nicely like i've noticed that when i go to take my makeup off at night the shadow look is still intact and looks good and again you know i do wear primer but i would do that with any shadows so uh the quality of them it just seems to be really really nice and it's they're good palettes so good for good drugstore palettes and affordable um again they're like 15.84 at walmart and 19.99 anywhere else so I hope you liked my demo and tutorial using this new product, and if you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe, and you'll be seeing more from me later. Okay, thanks. Bye.